My little handsome, 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 bitch, Each day that we're given presents a new chance for adventures and experiences. We discovered a common bond around hunting for comic books, collectible toys from our childhood, meeting interesting people, seeing brand new places, or finding anything that makes us say, wow, I remember that. We live for nostalgic memories, we have a passion for exploration, and we are completely obsessed collectors. Together we are Comic Trips, and we are inviting you to come along with us on our expedition for Pop Culture Treasure. Well, I shorted you a penny. How dare you? 60 I went. I know for some reason there's no pennies. I got tons of quarters, okay. but not a penny. Thank so, you. You're very welcome. Appreciate it. Yeah, you have a good day. You too. Come back and stay again. We will. All right, so there's two snake eyes, but this one doesn't look like it's, where it is on the map, like pinned, says it's a cellular sales Verizon wireless authorized, authorized dealer. But then Maybe the other move. snake eyes on Kingston Pike looks like legit. Maybe they move. Maybe. Paul and Jeremy. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. How are you? Oh, so oh, excited. Let's stick on you. This is awesome. Hi. Jeremy. Nice to meet you. You kind of, you kind of like dangerous. Doesn't he? Just a little bit. I tell him that he's like, no, I'm like, better off. He says he's Ben Affleck's ugly brother. I can see it. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
like a mixture of Dan Cook and Venom. <laughs> Reception. It's from Jersey. It, yeah. You can tell she's got yeah. that sound, you know, that. If that man was not created for the wrestling business, I don't know what he was made for. I know. I know. You know he looks I mean? like a lemur. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also impressive how much he's improved, too, you know, because you go back and you look at the old school stuff, and he's right. kind of like. In a short amount of time. Yeah. yeah. AJ's from Georgia, so you get like a lot of folks down here that love AJ. Okay. Now, did you ever do the ROH thing since you're up in that area? A little bit here and there. Yeah. I had yeah. some friends that do it. I don't know. I just like the way that they're introducing new talent because yeah. everything else has been kind of stale. Between WrestleMania and like SummerSlam, mm -hmm. it's like great, right? Like, and Royal Rumble kind of gets in there to where you get to the WrestleMania season and then you get to like SummerSlam and it's great. Right. SummerSlam football starts and then everything just kind of drops off and everything just kind of gets like that. And this year with all the injuries and everything, you're sitting right. there looking at it going like, man, all right, you know, whatever. But you're right. When Shane came back, honestly, like up until that point, I was like, like, because that was like, what, a week after Brian retired or right. whatever. I was like that. And yeah. like, Brian was like the first big one for me when I got like really into it. You know okay. what I mean? Like, he was like one of those guys where just like, come on, that's, you know, whatever. It's like that. And so like that really, but then Shane comes back and you're just like, all right. Thanks, sir. You guys, thanks so much. Thanks Take for the anyway. You guys yeah. have a good Better. Play, play Ski Diablo. Did you see the shot? 
But you'd only get Corvettes. I wish I get another like updated picture. I know. There's so many. Yes. Yes. They're all 11 a piece? Uh, some are a little cheaper. There are small toddler sized bees flying around. And I just. Oh. I know bees are good for like the ecosystem. <coughs> Not for me though. Seventeen years or so altogether. Wow. He used to be across the railroad tracks for the first five or six years of it or so. Maybe I've been officially working for him for about three and a half years, maybe. Oh, okay. What's the scene like down here for this sort of stuff? Are there are a lot of shops. There's not a whole lot of shops like us. I mean, there are other places that sell comics, but most of them mainly focus on board games or records or something like that. Okay. And, and they have their um, loyal customers like we have our loyal customers I wouldn't put any of them down right. but they they don't really focus on comics like we do so di different types of shops yeah we've got a pretty big uh I mean there's a lot of geeks running around Nashville a lot of conventions happening around here oh okay it's an interesting shop like you said it came up probably the most highly rated shop in the area so we want to check definitely out. appreciate okay. that all right so we've had a pretty dis busy uh, sun there it is red my we've had a very busy day today Jeremy actually did most of the driving today, so we didn't film 
So we're gonna film for you now. We are going to start with our haul from Snake Eyes Comics in Knoxville, Tennessee. Snakesville was cool. Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes, that's what I said. Snake Eyes was cool. You know what I really liked about that store? They bagged and boarded all of their new comics. Yeah. That is awesome. Not a lot of places do that. They no. just leave them out and kind of fend for yourself. And if you want to go in and get really good condition comics, sometimes people have already ravaged the shelves. Yeah. And like, uh, uh, so. I also love the, the statues that they had there. They had a lot of statues. They did. And then they had a giant Undertaker statue, the one that like lights up from the bottom. Really wanted to buy that. It was a cool shop. We talked to Jonathan, who's one of the owners. He has his partner who wasn't there today. It's not a massage. <laughs> Got a little something in your chest there. It's called the Derps. It's not a massive shop by any means, but they have a really good collection there. Nice back issues, decently priced. Grabbed a couple issues, grabbed some older stuff. Some older stuff. So. I didn't even see what you grabbed. Incredible Hulk 229. Oh, the glare. Oh, perfect. Incredible Hulk 256. Incredible Hulk 291. <coughs> And Incredible Hulk 115. That's an old one. She's an oldie. And then another 15 center Avengers number 90. I did not pick up anything at this shop. They were a few. They were a few bucks a piece each one of those books, and I'm okay with paying that amount because these are. They look pretty good. They're they're pretty good. And again, finding good deals on lower number books, getting tougher and tougher. If I can find a few for. Five bucks, six bucks, four bucks, whatever it may be. It's great to knock some of these off the list. But, 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 but. Sorry. You didn't really cover that first one up too well. That's fine. Did it? Did it reach you? Yeah, you're you're good. That's fine. We also met up with Krissa at Snake Eyes Comics. She was super sweet. She gave me a Star Wars shirt. Thank you. Yeah, she was super nice. It's cool to meet people out here on the road. It's you know? awesome. Hey, you're coming through my neck of the woods. Let's hang out. Sure. Absolutely. We like to hang out. And then we were driving and we saw a sign that said... The Tennessee's largest flea market. Yeah, the largest flea market sure. in the entire state. So we did. We went by. And it was an interesting place. I kind of wanted to text my mom like my latitude and longitude points and be like, here's where to search for my bones. We had come a little bit later in the day, a little bit. You bought that? I did. You just scared me half to death. I thought that maybe that there was a spider crawling on it. Yeah, so. Well, I mean. So, grab the Wagon Queen Griswold Family Truckster. This is awesome. I mean, it's basically our trip. I didn't even know that this was a thing. You don't really see too many Back to the Future 3 vehicles out, but that was there. Got both of those for 20 bucks. They wanted $11, $12 a piece for each of them. Two for 20. We got there later on in the day. We actually passed one flea market um, on the way and so I looked up to see where it was off the highway and it said it closed at noon and so What? We actually got to the Crossville flea market <laughs> around like three so people were already like closing up shop And there was a thing that said like Mike's toys or something like that right man. toy yeah, man toy man But he was closed up already and then the rest of the booths were selling Confederate flags and dish soap and dish soap and like quilts. But I will say that there were a lot of booths that were closed up, so. What's inside yeah, of that? Yeah, chances are we missed out on a whole bunch of stuff, I'm but sure. it was just something that we saw in passing and yeah. wanted to give it a shot to anyway. But got a Back to the Future car out of it. You did. Mm -hmm. um, and then we headed towards Nashville, Tennessee, and we went to Rick's Comic City, right. which was awesome, cool spot. I picked up Bee <laughs> and Puppy Cat volume number one, and volume number so I'm excited about this. I know I'm collecting the comics, but it's always fun to have them in the book. I'm trying to be good. Kind of going uh, quality over quantity the past couple days. From Rick's Comic City, <clears throat> four issues, that's it. But all Yeah, we're issues, being really good. Fantastic Four, 92, 95, 96, and number 100. You know what I liked about Rick's Comic City? Mm. The massive wall of trade paper bags and graphic novels. Yeah. Good 
god. Yeah. There was definitely books in there that I had never heard of before. They also had quite a few Kingdom Hearts, like Japanese novels. I know I want to read Chain of Memories because I don't have the console to play it. So I was like, oh, I could just read it. And I've never found that book before, but it was $20 and it was also this thick. So I was like, what am I honestly going to read that? Right. So I just, I used my time wisely. And I said, no, that's okay. I can that's buy okay. it another time. In case you were wondering, I give Snake Eye Comics a giant thumbs up. Oh yeah, Snake Eye Comics is great. I give Crossville Flea Market, maybe next time. And then Rick's Comic City also gets a giant thumbs up. I give Snake Eyes a thumbs up. I give Crossville Flea Market a thumbs medium. Pre pretty much up because I found a Back to the Future card that I really didn't even know existed. Okay. So I'm okay with that. I know that you're scared of like everything that you are not familiar with. You know what? I don't know what this is. I'm terrified. We're gonna die here. Whatever. Uh, you know what, Paul? I've seen a lot of horror movies. Yeah? Yeah. Most horror movies that are made up. Right. Yeah, gotcha. Some of them are based on true stories. Based on true stories. Yeah. Based. Like Texas Chainsaw. You know who always dies first? The pretty blonde haired girl. I don't think that's true. Oh. But that one's based on Ed Dean. He didn't really kill people. Yeah. So. Only like three, I think. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> well, I've also seen House of Wax. And you know who was the first pair to go? Paris Hilton. Well, for a good reason. Donner. Well, she looked good in the, in the movie, so. I was kind of upset when she died. So what should we do? Should we try and snag one more place and then maybe mosey on down to Little Rock? Little Rock, Arkansas? <laughs> Probably offended a lot of people with that. I didn't mean to. <laughs> It's just, it's it's tough for people from the north to not do a southern accent when we're in the south. We're not making fun of anyone. It's like I want to fit in. I, I want to be able to talk like that because it's just it's it's more relaxed. It sounds it's, so cozy. It's cozy. It's nice and it's warm. It's like butter, baby. That was it. Again, I'm gonna go to the bedroom. Okay. We're gonna look for another spot. We're gonna see what Nashville has. Nashville! <laughs> Get some barbecue. That is not Get what people- cornbread. Not what people talk like down here. Well? Well? If I was a person living down here, that's what I would sound like. I would sound like this. I think they can send you back. <laughs> Go back to Jersey. It's definitely different being down here. Coming from New Jersey, where everything's like fast, in New York, where everything's fast paced and like nobody gives a shit about anybody else or what you're doing. It's a slower pace. I like it. Very different. People are warmer. So we're gonna see if we can find another spot? Yes. What's that? Let me be myself. I'm a free bird. I'm, I'm a, a rod. I'm a flower. Less fun. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Hello, handsome. Do you want to come here? Come here, handsome. Yeah, you want some there, come here. Oh. Good boy. Oh. Good boy. My little handsome. Where are we headed, Paul? Um. I think Paul has his, his little sniffers on. Find another spot. We shall see. Madison, Tennessee. What's it called? This is a place called The Great Escape. They apparently have three locations in the area, and it's something not too dissimilar from Second and Charles. Okay. 17 minutes? Yes. Okay. All right. The Great Journey to The Great Escape. Okay, Vincenzo, I promise. Oh my god.
просто так. Part. Yeah. I think the only one that's a little different is the one in Louisville, Kentucky. They focus mainly on comics and toys, whereas okay. our other locations, we do a little bit of everything. Like video games. That one's in Louisville. Records. Yes, sir. We have a, what we call a Comics Holds program, and okay. so our regulars get 25% uh, off any of their new comics that they get with us. So. How long have you been open over here? This particular location, now we've been in this parking lot for about 30 something years now, but we just opened it this location uh, right before Thanksgiving last year. Oh, so. okay. Wow. Everybody's so nice about it. Up in the Northeast, everybody thinks they're better than you. And <laughs> any other spots in the area that you can recommend? <laughs> Comic book shop? Um, like you know. Rick, Rick's has a couple of locations, and then, we, like I said, we have our, our locations. So. Okay. That's pretty much it. I guess there's upsides and downsides to that. Yeah. You know? I mean, I mean, the good news is we don't have a lot of competition. So. Right. Right. Yeah. That's the upside. <laughs> Uh, the, the the bad news is we over the years we've had to change our our, our thought maybe. you know like how we how we approach things because right. we used to be just brick and mortar and but now we've we've done a lot more like online now and uh, oh, okay. we branch out and do conventions and stuff like that too. So, oh really you do? Yes sir. So you set up oh, like vinyl and comic book bins at? Uh, yeah, like different things. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, man. Jimmy. Paul. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you guys have a great shop here. Yeah, appreciate it, man. We'll be back and we'll get you some cards. Yeah. 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 Yeah.